Hey everybody, it's Yvonne Vega here with a total body workout for you. Um, and this total body workout emphasis is going to be on the arms and the shoulders. So it just means it'll be a little more a shoulder and arm workouts in the video today. Um, you can use this as a follow along. Um, I will be going through this two times. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead, pause the video, go back and do your warm up. Okay, very important you warm up the muscle before you get started to prevent injury. All right, so uh, for the first exercise, we're gonna come down to our hands and knees, all right? So we're coming to the tabletop, and we're gonna be doing a high drip with kick out. So this is gonna be our glute activation. We'll be going through this two times. So it looks like this. So just making sure that your shoulders are stacked over your wrist, your hips are over your knees. And so you're just gonna lift your leg out, and then kick out to the side, and then back down, okay? We'll go ahead and do that for 40 seconds, and I'll repeat on the other side, and then we'll do it again for a good activation. All right, here we go, 40 seconds. Get your belly button the spine. Uh, don't let your head sink. Side, ready, and up, out, back, and down. Inhale, exhale. Keep your head is in control. Last 10 seconds here. Last five seconds, stay in there. All right, very good, just do a release. You can sit back into child's pose, move the hips around, whatever feels good to your body. And then we'll switch over to the other side. And of course, always pause the video if you need a longer break. Okay, this is, your, this is your own workout, okay? So make it your own, ready? Seconds here. Break it up with the knees to the touch. Release. And then we'll do that again one more time. Then we'll go into the circuit. Okay. Ready and go. Up. Last 15 seconds. Last nine seconds. Four, three, two, and one. We'll go ahead and release. exercises that makes me feel good okay so just listen to your body whatever your body's saying it needs and go into those stretches all right ready on the side and go up seconds here. And 
if it's too much to be on your hands, you can always come down to your elbows. will be your hips, belly button, spine, and go. So inhale and exhale. Up. And you're raising dumbbells up. You want to think of someone pulling your elbows with a string. Okay, your elbows lead on the row up. seconds here. on your knees, okay? So, it's your modification. Um, or you can have something raised up off the floor, bring the floor closer to you, and you can do it that way as well. Or you can do this on a wall, all right? So those are all your modifications. Um, you can start on your toes, and maybe uh, work your way down to the knees, so if you need a little easier exercise. Um, all right, like I said, make it your own. All right, here we go. Left leg, so right, down, down, up, up, and left. And then make sure when you come up that your shoulders are stacked over your wrist, okay? Keeping your belly button the spine. Last 10 seconds here. Hang in there. Modify if you need to. Very good. Open up the knees so the touch. Release. All right. We do some little side stretches if that feels good. Up. 
in there. Back off if you need to. All right, very good. Release. Shake it out. You can crush your rubber. Stretch on the shoulder. Drop your shoulder down. Relax your arm. Other side. All right, next exercise we have 20 wands. So we're going to be um, using our dumbbells. I'm going to say like a, a medium to light weight here. Shoulder stacked over the hips, belly button to spine. You're going to do bottom half for seven. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and stop. So it's halfway. So you want to think of when you're curling, stop at the belly button, then stop at the top, top half, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then all the way for seven. Okay? That's the exercise. If you need a break in between, it's too much. Just place the uh, dumbbells on the floor, shake it up, and get right back into it. All right, here we go. Finish off and do the last uh, full set of full ones. You can do that, okay? If you want to feel like you finished it off? Go ahead and do that. All right, very good. All right, next one we have a high boat low boat. Okay, go ahead and stretch if you need to. All right, movements that feel nice. All right, so we have a high boat low boat. So it looks like this. You'll be coming into a high boat, so the legs are up. And then low boat. One, two, three, up. High boat. One, two, three, low boat. If this is hard all together, you can just stay in a high boat and just place one leg down. Still too much? Place both legs down. Okay? And just hang out here until the timer is over. All right? So, but at least try it. At least try a couple. All right? A high and a low. If it's too much, and then back off. All right, here we go. 40 seconds. And go. High boat. Low boat. Do the belly button is fine. High boat. And low boat. High boat. Low boat. High boat. And low boat. So you're holding it up for about maybe two or three seconds. Of course, it's too much, just back off. We have another 10 seconds here. Keeping the belly button to the spine. All right, very good. Let's go ahead and lay back. Clasp the hands, squeeze the glutes, stretch, stretch, stretch. And then just uh, stretch over to one side. All right, these always feel good. When you bring your knees in, and just do some movements side to side. And again, um, if you need to pause the video if you need to, you know, look great. All right, so um, next one we have line side uh, tricep push up. So we're going to come to our side, and um, everything's aligned, hips are stacked on top of each other. And so, what you're going to do here, you're going to take this bottom hand, you're just going to wrap it around your waist here, top hand. In, the, in front of your chest, you're pushing up with your palms. Okay, we're working the uh, triceps here, okay? And 
modifications here, just back off. Take a little break if you need to. You know, shake it out. And then just get back into it. Okay. So modification is pretty much just taking a break. Um, and just getting back into it again. All right, here we go, ready? 40 seconds on one side, and then we'll switch to the other side. Then inhale, and exhale, and then push. There you go, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Make sure your body's aligned. You're not falling forward. Okay, everything's nice and straight. Hang in there. Just five more seconds left. I know this is a challenging workout here. I can feel it myself. All right, go ahead and release. And go ahead and put your hand behind your, your head. Hand between your shoulder blades. You do a little stretch here. Release for your tricep. And then we'll go ahead and move on to the other side. Hips, belly button, spine, and 
go. So inhale and exhale. Yeah. And raise the dumbbells up. You want to think of someone pulling your elbows with a string. Okay? Your elbows lead on the row up. Ten seconds here. Okay, very good. Pause the video if you need a longer break. Alright, so next one, um, we're gonna be doing high plank to low plank. So it's gonna look like this. You just want to cheer high plank. Keeping your shoulders stacked over your wrist, and it's gonna be down, down, up, up, and then you're switching arms, okay? So now left, 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 down, down, up, up, then right, down, down, up, up. If you want, you can do this on your knees, okay? So that's your modification. Um, or you could have something raise up off the floor, bring the floor closer to you. And you can do it that way as well, or you can do this on a wall. All right, so those are all your modifications. Um, you can start on your toes and maybe uh, work your way down to the knees if you need a little easier exercise. Um, all right, like I said, make it your own. All right, here we go. Plank, so right, down, down, up, up, and left. And then make sure when you come up that your shoulders are stacked over your wrists. Okay, keeping your belly button in the spine. Last 10 seconds here, hang in there, modify if you need to. Open up the knees so the touch, release. All right. We'll do some little side stretches if that feels good. All right, so um, so this exercise is gonna go out, center, out, squat for the dumbbell presses. All right, so it looks like this. Out, up, center, inhale, exhale. Okay, that's the exercise. Too much with the dumbbells, just use body weight, okay? Too much with the legs, just do the arm movements. Okay, do what you can. Back off if you need to. All right, guys, so here we go. seven. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and stop. 
So it's halfway. So you want to think of when you're curling, stop at the belly button. Then stop and do the top. Top half. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then all the way for seven. Okay? That's the exercise. If you need a break in between, it's too much. Place the uh, dumbbells on the floor, shake it up, and get right back into it. All right, here we go. Two ones. All right, half for seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Top half. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then all the way. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, halfway. Five, six, seven, top half. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Very good. If you want to finish off and do the last uh, full set of full ones, you can do that, okay? If you want to feel like you finished it all, Go ahead and do that. All right. Very good. All right, next one we have a high boat low boat. Okay, go ahead and stretch if you need to. All right, you need movements that feel nice. All right, so we have a high boat low boat. So it looks like this. You'll be coming into a high boat. So the legs are up. And then low boat. One, two, three, up. High boat. Two, three, low boat. If this is hard all together, you can just stay in a high boat and just place one leg down. Still too much? Place both legs down, okay? And just hang out here until the timer's over. All right, so but at least try it. At least try a couple, all right? A high and a low. If it's too much, then back off. All right, here we go. 40 seconds. And go. High boat, low boat, the belly button is fine. High boat, and low boat. High boat, low boat. High boat, and low boat. So you're holding it up for about maybe two or three seconds. All right. And of course, it's too much to back off. We have another 10 seconds here. Keeping the belly button the spine. All right, very good. Let's go ahead and lay back. Cross the hands, squeeze the glutes, stretch, stretch, stretch. And then just uh, stretch over to one side. All right, these always feel good. And then you bring your knees in. And just do some movements side to side. All right. And again, um, you need to pause the video if you need to, and then we'll have a break. All right, so um, next one we have line side uh, tricep push up. So we're going to come to our side, and um, everything's aligned, hips are stacked on top of each other. And so, what you're going to do here, you're going to take this bottom hand, you're just going to wrap it around your waist here, top hand, and in, in front of your chest, you're pushing up with your palms. Okay, we're working the uh, triceps here, okay? And modifications here, just back off. Take a little break if you need to. You know, shake it out. And then just get back into it, okay? So modification is pretty much just taking a break. Um, and just getting back into it again. All right, here we go, ready? 40 seconds on one side, and then we'll switch to the other side. Then inhale and exhale and then push. There you go. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Make sure your body's aligned. You're not falling forward. Okay, everything's straight. Hang in there. Just five more seconds left. 
You know, this is a challenging workout here. I can feel it myself. All right, go ahead and release. And go ahead and put your hand behind your, your head. Hand between your shoulder blades. Do a little stretch here. Release for your tricep. And then go ahead and move on to the other side. For joining me for this total body workout. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you're watching this on the YouTube channel, um, please subscribe. And uh, make sure that after you work out that you do a post-workout stretch. Okay, very important. You stretch out those muscles after you work out and elongate them. And um, I'll see you next time. Take care and bye-bye.